Hi, today I'm going to talk about DIY. For 66 years, I was an expert in DIY. There was nothing that I could not do. There was nothing that I could not fix. There was nothing that I could not sort out. Now, DIY is cost effective and if we make a mistake, it's easy to cover them up with a coat of paint. Or if we have a disaster, we just move a cupboard in front of it to hide it from view. But I'm not talking about that kind of DIY. What I want to talk about is doing life by ourselves without God, which I was doing for 66 years. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 3 verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Now I can tell you that everybody thought that I was a good guy. People really liked me. But I knew that I did all my mistakes, disasters and faults deep inside of me. They were hidden from view. Every time I recalled somebody that I had hurt or remembered something that I had done and I knew that it was wrong, then I was filled with guilt. The more things I hid inside of me, the greater the guilt. Now, the cost to myself was huge. I had no idea how to deal with it. And then in 2015, I gave my life to Jesus Christ and everything changed. Without realising it, I went through the steps in Psalm 32, verse 5, that says, I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. I actually did that. I acknowledged my sin to the Father. I hid nothing from him and I confessed all of my transgressions to the Lord. And guess what? He forgave me and my guilt disappeared. It was almost instantaneously, just like that. And I didn't want all that guilt to reappear. And I, I knew my son, sin had been forgiven, past, present and future, but the future bit was giving me problems. Did I have to ask for forgiveness each time I sinned? I spent a lot of time talking to God about this issue. Eventually, he spoke to me in a way that I understood. And to put that into context, in my 20s, I was a professional ballroom dancer. And he said to me, sin is like ballroom dancing. And I thought at that time, oh no. Not another sin. Don't tell me ballroom dancing is also a sin. But he continued, imagine you and I were dancing together and you stepped on my toes. Would you say sorry? And I told him, yes, I would say sorry. And he said, then I would forgive you. But... I would then say, let's try that step again. And, and this time, you must try your very best not to step on my toes again. Suddenly, I understood. Now, once I became a Christian, apart from my guilt, some other things disappeared. For instance, some friends who seemed to think, 
he's gone a bit weird and got religion. They were not sure about the new me. But you know something? I really like the new me. I may have lost some things. But let's look at what we all gain when we give our life to Jesus Christ. We gain a Lord and Saviour. We gain a Redeemer, an Advocate, a Healer, a Defender, a Protector, an Overcomer, a Friend and a Brother. We also gain a Counsellor because the Holy Spirit lives within us all. Let's pause for a moment and think about that. The Spirit of God has chosen to live inside each one of us and to do life with us. There's only one word to describe that and it's awesome. Then we gain a father, Abba Father. God who created each one of us as an individual, who loves each one of us individually with a love so deep that we cannot comprehend it. He blesses us. He shows us mercy and gives us grace. And I, for one, do not deserve it. We also become part of the family of God. So whatever life throws us, good or bad, we have the support of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And we have each other. No matter how we are called to serve each other or his church, or when we help each other or encourage each other, we do it not for our glory, but always for the glory of God. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're encouraged and I really look forward to seeing you again. God bless to you and goodbye. Thank you.